folks, welcome back to the channel. So after we did the water cure on this concrete for about six days now, uh, trying to prevent cracks from this crazy heat we've been having, now I've got to uh, start backfilling around this footing. And we had some clay that got dumped in there that did not uh, get compacted. So it's absorbed a lot of water. And rather than putting clay that we need to compact in on top of that wet clay, which will never compact, I'm gonna dig out the worst spots and then start backfilling around this footing. And then it will, once that clay dries out, we'll use it again. Because what you see, the top of this wall is the bottom of our slab. So our porches and stuff are actually gonna come out uh, well, three inches above the top of this wall coming out from the house. So we're gonna have to backfill all of this stuff that you see up to the level of uh, the top of that wall so we can start uh, putting our porches and stuff on when the time comes for that. So we got a lot of backfilling to do. I guess the good thing is we got all kinds of dirt that had to be dug out of the middle to satisfy the engineers. So hopefully we're not going to have to go start up a borrow pit to get enough dirt to put back in around this house.
since this clay is so wet, um, it's making what's an already long process even longer because you get it compacted to a certain point and the moisture prevents any further compaction. So then you have to let it sit and let the moisture dissipate. It's kind of unfortunate because we've got more rain coming, like I said earlier, in about three days. The other downside of this type of backfill, and we're doing this instead of gravel on this layer because the soil engineer says that the only way they can test compaction on a gravel backfill is to do what's called proof rolling where you take a loaded dump truck and drive over it and see how much it sinks, if any. Well, clearly that would be difficult to do inside of a 41 inch stem wall. So this is the only real option left open to us if we want the soils engineer to sign off on the substrate being the load bearing capacity specified by the engineer that designed the house. And what's happening is that we're losing basically half of what we put in here. And if you look, when I was filling this section over here, it was up above the footing. So there was a foot plus backfill material in here. Well, you see how much it's compacted down. And, you know, when we were told that this was what we were going to have to do to reach the load bearing capacity for this structure, uh, we were told we were going to lose about 30%. We're losing at least 50. And, you know, it takes in this garage that I just worked on 45 minutes per round. Well, this is three times bigger than the garage. So that means that we're looking at over two hours just to do one complete round of compaction in here. And we got to do it five times. So, yay. I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm going to get sick of this uh, just as quick as y'all are on video. So I don't know how much of it I'm going to record. One of the indicators that this clay is too wet, besides the way that it feels underfoot when the compactor is hitting it, is that you end up with the clay, instead of moving vertically, compacting straight down, it moves laterally in a wave across the surface. So I think that after this round, I'm going to have to stop compacting this again and let it go ahead and uh, dry some more and then move on and do something else. But you can see that it's just moving across. The water is preventing it from compacting any any further that you know it's holding the the grains for lack of a better term of the material apart so it's kind of like squeezing a water balloon it's just moving from one place to another so we're laying out the grade lines for the first soil compaction test and then the final elevation line so 12 inches off of the footing and then 24 inches off the footing are where we need to end up. Based on the way this has been going to hit 24 inches, that means I'm gonna to have to compact about four feet of this clay in here to get it up to that level. And we're doing this after another, I don't know, 11 hour day running a compactor. So, woo! All right. There's our goal. Aren't we excited? All 
I will probably not be so glad to quit doing something ever in my entire life as I will be stopped putting clay in this dang hole. That compactor must be approaching 24 hours because that's where the last two pull cords have broken. So now I get to stop what I'm doing, go into town, and get another dang compactor. As is typical, um, trying to get this clay spread in this hole and roll the track off of this little mini skid steer. So now I'm gonna have to fix it. Now we're on the third compactor for the day, so I'm gonna <laughs> try to beat this clay into submission. Seems like I was finally able to get this to reach the maximum compaction by letting it sit for about 30 hours and dry and then come back and finish it off. Now I did the same thing with the clay stockpile. I spread it at the same time I Decided to leave this other sit so that I could hopefully get it dry enough to compact. So we'll see if it works any better today. Well, this clay is still very wet and that does not bode well for using this stockpile. So I'm going to leave this sit, start spreading that ramp, and get ready to start backfilling over here for the next lift, and <laughs> pray for the best. This clay, after the first round of compaction yesterday, I let sit to try to dry out, so I'm gonna go back at it today and see if it'll compact any more. Well, this is still a little too wet. It's closer. I'm gonna have to let it sit some more and then come back to it. So now I'm gonna have to figure out what we can do with this mess over here. The equipment rental company called me yesterday and said they needed their mini skid steer back. So I had to uh, <laughs> take it back and I had to take it back before I got this 
smoothed down and compacted in for the first time because I was planning to do it this morning. So now I've got to figure a different way to do it. Well, that's the best I can get that. That clay is some of the really wet stuff and it didn't have time to dry. So I need to rebuild this ramp because we got rain coming in and in case it gets here sooner rather than later, I need to be able to get that mini uh, skid steer out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild that and get it compacted and then try to start putting some of this drier clay I've got back in here and maybe get an, at least an initial compaction on this before the rain gets here. They're saying it's supposed to rain off and on pretty much for the next 10 days, and we're supposed to get an uh, inch and a half to two inches between tonight and all day tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna have to pump this mess out to get it to dry so I can finish putting clay in here. We got an inch and a half of rain a few days ago and so I've had to let this stuff sit and dry out. Now I'm finally getting back to it. But this stuff was already wet to begin with and you know I got I think two rounds of compaction on it and then had to wait because it wouldn't compact anymore. Then more rain on it so now I'm going to see if it'll go on and compact down so I can carry this on up. It'll, it'll hit about two freaking combustion cycles and then die and it smells like it's flooding out I'm trying to get the plug out of it now to see if it's wet it's not it ain't wet but it's black as can be I don't know and it's a teeny tiny one that I don't have any of so this is why I'm having to take this thing back apparently uh, they didn't test run it before I got it, and the plug is completely fouled out. So, another 50 mile trip to town. All right, now that I have a supposedly functional compactor, I'm gonna try to get done what I was gonna do today. And this is about uh, 
two hours later than when I stopped. Not supposed to be getting any rain and at about 1 30 this morning it started raining so now we get to wait for another however many days for everything to dry out again including all of the clay that we just got delivered that I didn't tarp because it wasn't supposed to rain and I'm figuring that that half inch of rain is probably going to set us back at least two days unless the sun comes out and it gets hot. Uh, probably more like three. And of course they're saying we're going to have unseasonably cool weather, so who knows. Mother Nature is not being kind with this. All right, just as we were starting to make progress, I got a lot of clay delivered, and it was actually in pretty good condition to start using it. We uh, unexpectedly got a half an inch of rain two nights ago, and it's been unseasonably cool and somewhat cloudy since then, so I've been waiting for this stuff to dry out. I think today I can finally get back to it and try to get this clay compacted in here so we can move on to putting gravel in. So I'm going to try it today and see how it goes. Now that the first compaction on that lift is done, get to start the waiting game and see if it's going to dry out enough to get it finished compacted. Of course, we've got about three days of rain, they're saying, coming in about three days. And hopefully, we're going to get enough sun and heat to dry this out to finish getting it compacted so that I can have it tested and we can start putting gravel on here but in the meantime I'm gonna go back to the garage because that's dried again so I'm gonna try to compact it the rest of the way All right, I think this is finally compacted where it needs to be. The uh, footings, when we were doing those, temperature was about 20 degrees higher than it is now. The clay was coming out of the 
truck dryer and we were able to hit compaction in about five rounds because this clay that's in here was so wet when it was delivered then we ended up getting a half inch of rain on it it's taken me 14 rounds over this to get it to what feels like the right compaction based on how things have been going before now i don't want to keep doing that that's a lot of time but in order to pass compaction we got to do what we got to do We'll let this sit overnight, then we'll back drag it and start compacting it tomorrow and see how it does. This actually seems to be a little bit drier than the stuff I put over there this morning or yesterday and then compact, started compacting this morning. So now it's time to go back to compacting. Two percent work for you. That'll work. That's what it was <laughs> last time. Was it? Must be doing something right. I'll tell you what. I've been running that stupid thing right there since about the twentieth of June. I'm ready to be done. With it. <laughs> ready to be done with it? Oh my lord. Is it? 